I want to talk about reverse dieting, but I also have a lot of laundry to do, so I'm going to try to like multitask at this point because I have a long, long to do this, and I really um, want to make time to get some information out there. I was watching a podcast this morning before I took the boys to school uh, while I was waiting for them to get their stuff together, and it was talking about reverse dieting and how it's kind of the up-and-coming, like, next buzzword in health and nutrition, and I am a little bit bummed about it. I should have foresaw this coming. Um, anything that has to do with health and nutrition is monetized. People find a way to monetize it, and um, and of course, why not? That includes something like reverse dieting, which is typically used to help people who have downregulated metabolisms get their metabolisms back up so they put themselves in a position so that they can actually lose weight. Um, so I want to talk about it really fast and, and the kind of ways to know uh, if you are in a position where you need a reverse diet or if you need to start eating more to start feeling your metabolism so you can actually lose some weight. Um, uh, sorry that I'm in my sports bra, by the way. It's like, it's really hot in here, even though it's not a hot day, but my house is just like, ugh, it's just keeping in the heat right now. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, anyway, so basically when you are somebody who has been yo-yo dieting or under eating for a really, really long time, our metabolism has to downregulate in order for us to, to stay alive, in order for us to keep on keeping on. Um, and so it does that in, in a number of ways, but you realize, or like you'll notice that you have less energy or your libido goes down, your mood swings are a lot heavier, your sleep is heavily impacted, maybe you're not sleeping well at night. So if you're somebody who has been under eating or who have been consuming not very many calories for, for a long amount of time, um, and you've maybe hit a plateau and you're not losing weight anymore, um, look for these signs to, to see if you have metabolically adapted. Okay, so one sign, if you've metabolically adapted, is your hunger cues are off. If you're not feeling hunger cues or you're not in a position where you can feel when you're full um, or you're not feeling hunger or fullness, uh, or maybe you, you're like, you never feel full, right? These are hormone dysregulations. So our hunger cues and our fullness cues are all regulated by hormones. If those are disrupted, then sometimes we lose the ability to figure out if we're really hungry or not. So that's one way to know if you're, if you don't have hunger cues, probably metabolically adapted. Uh, two, if your, um, sleep is impacted, right? If you're having trouble getting to sleep, if you're having trouble staying asleep, Probably, you, know, you might be metabolically adapted. That's one reason why that happens. Uh, energy and mood swings. If you're having energy crashes or you're having a hard time getting up in the morning, if your mood is all over the place, you're having a hard time regulating, could be metabolically adapted. Um, cravings. If you're getting monster cravings all of the time and you're just like, I don't know, I just ate, but I really, really want this, that, or the other. Sometimes huge cravings that are hard to satisfy. Indicate metabolic adaptation. And finally, libido. If you've felt uh, or experienced a huge drop in your libido, if something has, you know, if it's if it's basically non-existent or it's been heavily impacted um, in a negative way lately, could be a sign that you're metabolically adapted. So if you're in a position where some of these things are happening to you, you've noticed that you've had low energy or low libido or no hunger cues or huge cravings or... Um, uh, what was the last one? I don't, I don't even know what I listed. Anyway, there's five of them to look for. Um, those are signs that you're metabolically adapted. And if that's the case, you really, really need to focus on proper nutrition and getting your calories up. Okay, I know, I know, I know, I know. It seems like the last thing in the world that you want to do if you're somebody who is trying to drop the weight. But if you are not giving your body what it needs, it's not going to shed the weight anyway. So you want to boost your metabolism by by nourishing yourself with the proper nutrition, high enough calories full of proper nutrients, right? And, and doing this in the right way will give you that long, sustainable weight loss that you will enjoy the process of instead of this crash dieting and feeling like crap and, oh, look, the scale went down, but I have no energy to do anything. That's not the life that we want to live. So there you go. If you've experienced uh, a few of those things on that list of five, um, then that could be an indication that you've been metabolically adapted. And if that's the case, then you might want to do a reverse diet to try to help fuel your fire so that you can get out of that um, and start feeling better and set yourself, up, set yourself up for success for the next time that you do try to do weight loss. Because if you're metabolically adapted, it's very, very, very difficult to lose the weight. Um, I didn't fold while I did that, but that's because I get so fired up. Anyway, until next time, you guys eat more, eat well, eat happy. Bye. Eat more. Eat more. All right. Bye.